<laughs> All right, today on the Happy Satellite Nerd, we are going to put a CKU band LMB on this four foot dish, and we're going to see what signals we can pick up on four, four, four feet of satellite dish. It's so exciting. <sighs> What I have here is, uh, this is a B, uh, B, DMS International Scalar Ring Kit. This is for trying to do C-band on a smaller dish, or an offset dish. So what it is, is a scalar ring which will attach to the front of the LMB, kind of like that. And uh, this is what it looks like. And it has, uh, you just tighten it to that. Now I have gotten signal without this on here. But we'll get into that in a minute. Uh, and this bracket. I thought I didn't have it, but I ended up finding it, thank goodness. Oh, good, it does have screwdrivers. A screwdriver, uh, so I can, you can tighten your LMB into your dish. So, so I got that and that. So that's going to be how we'll hold, bracket it to the dish. Now I'm going to try these two different LMBs. I'm going to try this one, which is a CKU band LMB. I have some masking tape on there. Those are just reference points. I had it on my um, eight foot mesh dish. So I'm gonna try it on uh, on this. The only thing is I wish, I, I, I think I know where it is, but I wish they uh, marked on here where the uh, C band and L, uh, KU band is. I think C band's on this side and KU band's here. I'll have to check my videos. So I'll, I'll, anyway. Um, so you got one for C-band, one for KU-band. You can hook up a 22K switch, is what I do. So you just have a short wire going from one to the other. Usually what I do is I use the off position to the C-band and the on position to the KU-band. Uh, the on to KU-band. I, I didn't have a good time uh, getting any KU-band signal on my 8-foot dish. So I just went with the offset dishes and I was able to get more luck with the C-band frequencies. Th that's what a lot of people have, uh, have to say about these things is they don't always get all the KU band channels and C band channels. What I tend to do with one of these is I tune it up so that I can get C band the best and if I can get any KU band transponders I take it but I, uh, it's kind of one of those things where you can I can get some of them but I can't get all of them. So bear that in mind and Another thing I'll use, yeah, I can hear cutting the table. This thing here, I've cut my hand on this thing many a time because I had to reach in. Yeah, this heat sink thing, it's sharp. It's, well, it's not razor sharp, but when you're trying to work uh, and adjust the skew and it, like you're working in a very tight place, it's uh, this heat sink was a pain in the butt. So yeah, I have some reference points on there for my titanium C1. Uh, the inside of the LMB, just so you know get an idea you see the antenna basically it's just the antenna inside there you can see that now I don't have the little plate in there and the reason for that is I don't normally have the plate uh, in it because in North America there's not a whole lot of circular c-band channels and if there is some worth watching let me know in the comments but really I don't really bother with the circular c-band so I just left it out another thing too is as metal it can expand. Sometimes these caps can pop off on you, like if you get like a cold day or whatever. Um, but it's a good idea to keep it on. I just put a little bit of masking tape over it. Like uh, on my big dish, I just put it right over it. It's it signal still travels through. Because what you don't want is you don't want a wasp making a nest inside it. So that's why they, we have the covers on these things. Yeah, wasps and uh, pests like that love to build nests inside satellite dishes and in the LMB covers and places like that. So keep out, keep an eye out for that. Um, I tend to throw a few mothballs <laughs> in my LMB cover just to prevent um, uh, the wasps from making nests, but they still make nests all over the place around here. Now I've tried, this is my 90 centimeter uh, dish. 
Now I've tried using a CKU band LME on it. Uh, I've uh, the first one that I found on the on the big dish is the easiest to get was the Lassie Mux on 99, 99 West, most powerful uh, signal that I've been able to find. So anyway, when I attached to this dish, I was able to get the signal, but um, uh, it wasn't watchable. It was like in the 40% signal, and it broke up a lot. So I ended up. Uh, abandoning the project on the 90 centimeter dish. So that was my experience. Now the KU side uh, of the LMB, I was able to get some of the KU band tra transponders. Now a lot of these LMBs use universal settings instead of standard. So it would be universal 1600 uh, instead of uh, would be standard would be 10 so I just replaced the, the KU band bracket with this uh, C band bracket. It's windy today, so it's a good test of the system. I think I have it tied down, but it, uh, also bucket is not the best way of doing this, but I'm just doing it for experimental reasons. So I just put the titanium uh, LMB on first. You don't want to take too much, you might want to have a little bit loose so that you can adjust the skew on your LMB. There we got the scaler on, and now I'm just going to Connect the cable up to it. Alright, so I'm pulling off the La C Mux. I'm just gonna put my finger over there so there's a wasp flying around me. Alright, so I'm getting about 34 on uh, the Q. I'm getting 77 on the signal. I'm on 400 by 4008 uh, horizontal, 2640 DVBS QPSK signal. It's using about 43 power and 5.5 uh, .5 dB according to this meter which is hard to see in the sunlight so anyway here's what I got here uh, I got this uh, the LMB I was messing around with the skew I was actually able to get signal without the scalar ring on there um, just when I was trying to adjust the skew but it's, it is a whole animal trying to adjust the scalar and the LMB so I got that wired up there so I got the Lassie Mux on 99 West, uh, I don't call it a Galaxy 16, I think it is. Anyway, I call them by the uh, where it is on the meter. So there's the actuator here. So there's this in the bottom. Now there's the heat sink. So anyway, I'll try another LMB and we'll see uh, if we can get a better result. So this is the Titanium PLL LMB. Um, but we'll also try the um, the CKU band LMB, and we'll give that a shot as well. See if I can get a little bit of KU band with uh, on the same uh, off the same LMB without it with it set up. I was also same way. able to scan in Shepherd's Chapel on 80, uh, 99 West. I'm getting about 71 uh, signal, 30 Q, uh, and about 5 deep, 5.1 dB. It's kind of moving around a little bit. Uh, that's on 4006. So that's coming in good. Those are the only two transponders I'm able to get so far on 99 West. I'm able to see uh, uh, SES1, uh, which would have the, the channels uh, 101 West, which has um, decades, uh, heroes and icons, and me TV. I'm able to see signal, but basically I see the signal bouncing from 27 0, 27 0. And the DB is kind of dropping, uh, going to four, from 4.5 to 0. 4.5 to 0. That could tell me that the skew is wrong. I believe on the 97 West, uh, the Lassimux was a horizontal, so this is a vertical transponder. So in this case, what I want to do is just adjust the LMB a little bit uh, to be able to get both the vertical and the horizontal uh, transponders the best I can. Now, doing with a four foot dish, um, sometimes you're just going to have to maybe have one satellite your peak, you know, you have a peak tweak to the one you want. Um, it's probably not going to be the best. All right, so I made, I pulled in decades. I'm getting 36%, about 5.8 dB and 73 uh, signal, 35Q. And uh, so anyway, so what I've done, I'll go back to what I'm doing here. All right. That's the satellite I want. Like if I were to like just have this as a fixed dish, I'd probably want it at 101 
west for the decades and then maybe use my c-band dish for or the big dish for something else so that's kind of what i'm hoping to maybe use this dish for is uh, even though i don't have enough cable to rent it over the winter maybe just park it over on ses one so there's the lmb this way i got it hooked up now i switched to this lmb it's a uh turbo four this is the one that came from um Tech 2000. So there's where you plug in the port for the C band and the KU band there. So I'd like to see if I can get KU band on this with this setup. So I'm going to bring it over to 101 West, disconnect that. I don't have the Dissect 2 switch. So just to see that uh, if I can keep it without tweaking it. Now, when I moved the LMBs, I did tweak my elevation just a, a bit. Now, what I like about this is it is actually quite easy to adjust your elevation with this dish. So if you're trying to tweak it, trying to get a weaker signal, or even with something like this, you're able to do that. Now they say you tend to want to keep it at the same spot for your arc, but if you're just trying to get like, what I always find is like, there's always a, a weaker transponder and you have to tweak your dish just to get that one, which might sacrifice losing other, other ones. But if you get it the best optimized, you shouldn't have to do that. Good luck with that. And so there's that. So we got this on there um, with the uh, C-band uh, coming through with pretty decent quality, I think. Too. Okay, so so far I'm finding my titanium. Oh gosh, this thing hurts. This heat sink hurts. This titanium C1 uh, is just, I'm not, uh, I actually switched it out on my uh, eight foot dish too, because I used to have this on the eight foot dish, but maybe there's a defect with the LMB or something, because I found that it's hard to lock on some of the signals with this uh, with this LMB, I, where the CKU band LMB, I don't know uh, why that is, or maybe there's a defect with this one, but I'm not pulling in uh, the signal. So I'm getting, this LMB is actually doing a better job than this one, so I'm gonna go with that one. Um, just I was just able to stick it on and find signal, so there you go, Bob's your uncle. All right, so I hooked up the KU band part of the LMB, and I'm able to get a little bit of signal on um, 103 West, but I'm only getting like a 0.1 dB, uh, so that means I'd have to adjust my LMB, which I don't want to do. I want to focus on C band. If I want KU band, I'll just have a K. CKU band LMB so as of this point so far with the time I have today I don't think I'm gonna have CKU running on the same dish um, there I could tweak it maybe uh, make it work later on but right now I just really want to get the C band on it and leave it at that to experiment are you with looking that. for a satellite dish a satellite receiver or a actuator or a satellite meter or an LMB or any satellite products for your free to air set up go to tech2000.com look at their wide variety of merchandise of many free to air satellite products that will soothe your satellite needs uh, so i've got the titanium c1 lmb on there now i've tried three different lmbs and um i don't know why it's just uh, uh just on that on that one satellite on uh one 01 west uh, I was seeing a bunch of um, the signal going up to about 6 db and then just dropping going back 6 db dropping and not coming back so I'm not sure why it was doing that if uh, if anyone can answer that in the comments it, it might be the uh, align problem or what I have no idea why the signal will be just dropping had a really bad wind uh, some really bad wind yesterday I set it up and then it was working and then I went inside and then it wasn't working anymore. So what I've done is I've gone and um, aimed it at 91 West. Uh, there's a few channels on there. There's the BYU mix, Mux, BYU Mux uh, there and that channel has a lot of movies and stuff. And that channel was actually coming in really strong. So there you go. There I got BYU and I'm getting about 46% SNR on BYU. So right now, okay, the word network's about 40 SNR. So just to switch it over, I got it set up here. You go into the uh, service searching, tuner configuration, and I just wanna go to the LMB for 
or going up east. Ninety one C band. Alright. I just have it on LMB four. So this is how I so I have the big dish on LMB one. This would be the settings for LMB one. But I'm gonna move it over to LMB four, which will be my uh, uh, small seabed dish. Great. Right. <laughs> I don't believe this, but it's, uh, the SNR is sixty. What did I say was uh, was it uh, over on? This is over on the uh, KU band dish. The SNR is sixty. I'm actually quite surprised how much signal quality I was getting with BY the BYU transponder. Uh, over on 91 West. So yeah, that's I'm getting 59% on the small dish. So I, uh, I left it there and I moved around the dish a little bit today and I was able to get AMG and the walk on 97 West C band and uh, oh yeah and a couple of the Spanish channels too. And I tried locking, I know someone's going to ask this about the retro TV, the Lucan Mucks. Um, I still got some tweaking to go. I want to first get that. I want to first get that on my six, uh, my eight footer, um, before I uh, try getting that on on here. And also, I was I had the receiver out and everything. Well, I'm still working on getting the arc going, but at least I'm able to get a few satellites. And I don't have enough line to run it into the house, so I just leave it left it parked on 91 West has the BYU mix mucks on it and I can watch American Ride and uh, and the Story Tech and all those shows on that side, on that channel. I'm going to leave it at that for now but uh, I have seen that I've been able to get some C-band transponders quite decently with this dish so it'd be interesting to see how it works in different weather conditions now that we're headed into the fall and uh, uh, there'll be some seasonal changes. I have the suspicion that possibly the cable lines and the phone lines that are hanging there, they're directly in the line of sight of my, uh, of that satellite dish, could be causing some interference on SES, uh, 10, the SES satellite at 101 West. I tried three different LMBs, I don't think it's the LMB, I think it's just there's interference ca coming down and it's causing interference on that, on that, uh, particular Frequencies, or maybe the satellite is having issues with sunspot activity, which it has had before. Please give this video a like, share, and subscribe. Um, these dishes here, this um, uh, four-foot C-band dish is available over at Tech 2000. Uh, you can order it there. I always have people ask me where you get it. So thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Please like, share, and subscribe. Auto Octane YouTube channel, Twitter page, Robbie Strike 3, and for my uh, webpage, RobbieStrike.com, and my Facebook page, Robbie Strike Videos. Please go there, like, follow, share, subscribe, share the videos there with all your friends, because doing so will make you go from this. Oh! Ah! Oh! Ah! Oh! <laughs> to this. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Arr, Atari. And zap back to the service. Back out. And something's gone wrong.